You wake up with sore throat after several days runny nose occurs. Most commonly, it is common cold in 65% of cases. Sometimes, in 10% of cases, it is Kraken, subvariant of Omicron, COVID-19. This is virus, rhinovirus, which is common cause of common cold. And these pa uh, pink particles are uh, Omicron in sample of mucus. Now, imagine wildfire. Imagine fire starts in dense forest. Fire, fire grows and fire damages trees and burning down lots of trees. This wildfire draws the attention of firefighters and they, they came. They sprayed water and this water eventually extinguished fire and we have lots of water. And after this, forest starts renew and regrow. The, exactly this process is happening in the body. Now, imagine that wh when virus attaches to our airways, it is starting fire, which is unnoticeable. After this, virus replicates and destroys cells, like fire destroys trees. Uh, destroyed cells causing inflammation and inflammation causes irritation of nerves and we feel sore throat. After this, it draws attention of our immune cells and our body starts produce lots of mucus to wash out viruses. It is called runny nose. And after this recovery process starting. Now, if we have this pattern, uh, first sore throat and second runny nose, what is the possible diagnosis? Most commonly, it's common cold, 65% of cases. Kraken or Omicron right now is dominant in 10% of cases. Allergic rhinitis can be in 10% of cases also. Influenza, 5% of cases and other viral infections such as parainfluenza and enterovirus is 5% of cases. Now let's say treatment. Stay at home, uh, rest, lots of fluids, these are general recommendations for pain, pain reliever such as acetaminopen and most cases ibuprofen also safe. And for sore throat, home remedy, warm salt, uh, warm salt water gargle is also effective. It soothes your throat. Uh, you can uh, gargle uh, salt water, and it's easiest and really helps. Panel, panel can be uh, lozenges or throat sprays. In both cases, it's effective and. Uh, um, it, it helps many people also and benzokine benzokine uh, in form of lozenges and uh, sprays also available and it uh, it provides numbing effects uh, pain and pain relief for runny nose antihistamines are um, very effective in most cases because allergic component is dominant during runny nose uh, and antihistamines such as dipenhydramine and cetirizine or loratadine are effective. Uh, de in, in decongestants, pseudoepidrine uh, and pelineprine is effective, but you should not use decongestants more than two or three days. Uh, intranasal corticosteroids also effective, such as fluticasone and momentazone as nasal sprays are also effective. That's all. Thank you for your attention. Thank you for your watching. If you like my videos, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.